Hi, I'm Silverio from Honor Plugins and today I want to show you how to use our AutoGame Pro with uh, Studio One version 4. This is the latest version of Studio One and is one of the most common DAW that you can find uh, in music production and uh, also one of the best uh, in my opinion. And uh, uh, we decided to make this tutorial to show you how to use one of the um, of the plugins we sell the most, so to Game Pro, uh, with uh, uh, Studio One, because it's you asked for for this kind of tutorials, and this is one of uh, the first we are making. So uh, what I want to do now is uh, to use Auto Game Pro to automate our bass guitar in this uh, small session I made with uh, uh, these some tracks of uh, drums and together they form the complete drum bus and I want to make sure that the bass guitar always stays on top of the drums using our uh, automation plugin. So uh, I am going first to create a single bus for the drums. So now we have all our drums here. Now from uh, this uh, track here where we have a bass guitar, I will insert the Auto Game Pro Okay, so here we are. I will activate the sidechain because I want to use uh, the drum bus here as a reference for the plugin. And from the send interfaces interface here, I will use the sidechain as a destination for the send of the bus. So now I have the routing correctly set up. And if I press play, you will see that the gain graphs here moves and the arrow moves, and uh, the bass guitar is automated. Now, there is an issue with this setup because uh, uh, the times that I can release for the reference and for the main that in this case is our bass guitar and here we have our drums uh, are not correct and they are too slow to uh, create the right automation in fact the graph moves very very, very slowly and uh, not really that much so I will put my headphones on and uh, I will uh, tweak these times to make them work for the track
I think we are pretty much set. And uh, if you listen to the track while I was playing that, you heard that the bass is moving with the dynamics of the drums. So if uh, uh, the drums uh, is uh, lower in level, the bass gets decreased. And uh, if they increase in dynamics, uh, the bass the bass get uh, increased in level. Uh, what I want to what I want you to notice is this uh, HPF filter that I tricked to allow uh, the kick drum to uh, have more impact on the calculated gain uh, because uh, by default uh, we set it to 100 hertz. Uh, this is right for voice uh, or for um, melodies instruments. But if we want to trick the bass, we want to get all the frequency from the reference, in this case uh, our drums, so that we, we can work on very low frequencies too. Uh, tweaking this allows us to get these results. So now we have uh, a pretty much good, a pretty good uh, setup for this bass automation. And uh, that's it. Now uh, you can uh, have your bass move uh, together with uh, the drums. So this was uh, a very short tutorial on how to use AutoGame Pro with uh, Studio One uh, version 4. It's pretty easy if, uh, if you have seen that. Uh, so uh, just go on our website, download the demo of the plugin and uh, try it out for yourself. If you have any question or any idea, just write us. Thank you very much for watching.